Hello and welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews. And uh, yes, if you've been following this channel, you know we're playing games for MS DOS, so at least I'm playing the games and you can follow along. And uh, MS DOS is a pretty old operating system. Uh, first version started in 1981, which is a, a few decades ago now. And uh, we are currently in 1984, just reviewing the last couple of games of interest in 1984. And today is a, is a big one. It's called Wizardry, which is uh, a series of games. But this was the first one in the series, The Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. So uh, on myabandonware.com, uh, you can download a copy and then... Uh, uh, there's, there's a quick little review and uh, there's a f useful fan site you actually can go there this uh, Wizardry Archives and it says Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord released 1981 Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord released in 1981 the game takes place in the domain of Treble the titular Mad Overlord Treble was once only power mad, but went off the deep end after he acquired a magical amulet of immense power, only to have it stolen from him by his nemesis, the evil archmage Werner. Werner, not quite sure how to use the amulet properly, accidentally causes an earthquake which creates a ten level dungeon beneath Trevor's castles. To avoid looking silly, Werner declares the dungeon to be the new lair for him and his monster hordes. Trevor not to be outdone, declares that the labyrinth is in fact his new proving grounds where adventures must prove themselves from membership in his elite honor guard and incidentally retrieve his amulet in the process. Thus, your goal in the game is to descend to the 10th floor of the labyrinth, defeat Verna and retrieve the fable amulet. Um, so I don't know why, why this one says 1984. That could be the game engine, but then the game engine that you get when you download from here actually says 1988 on it. So let's, let's just show you. Uh, so we put was one. So there we go. Was it three? So uh, this is the first scenario. And uh, we can start the game. And uh, yeah, this this is like a the dungeon crawler type game. I have no idea what this background noise is supposed to be. It's not music. Um, so you're in a castle. Uh, you being just like a not even a body, but you can uh, uh, get people, so you can. Go to the edge of town and then training so you can create a character. Uh, let's call him uh, Charles. Why not? And uh, I'm not giving a password. Charles will be a human. Why not? A neutral human, like most of us are. And then you have bonus points, so we can add some bonus points. So he could be a fighter. And then, oh, let's make him uh, enter. Let's give him some vitality as well. And, uh, yeah. Bonus points. Well, one more there, one more there. Okay. Charles is a good fighter. So press escape and finished. And A for plus. Yeah, we're going to keep Charles and create. Well, Create four characters and see how that goes. So let's do. Uh, oh, what what shall we call this guy? Uh, let's call him back. Why not? And our password. Uh, we're gonna get good humans. No oh dear. And why not? We have two little fighters. Of course, yes. And we're going to create a character. We're going to call him Baladur. 
what else? And uh, no password. And we're going to make him elf and neutral as well. I got 16 bonus points and nope. We're going to stick that onto intelligence. Uh, let's set it a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, you, you create a character. I'm not going to make this guy far too smart to go running around. In just okay, so we it's going to be a mage. Yes, we're going to keep him. We're going to create another character. We're going to call him Bobby. Why not? And that password as well. We make him a hobbit. Neutral. And now uh, let's see what other classes we can get. Now, I'm gonna go agility. Ah, ha, ha, I knew it. Yeah, I'll give him some vitality. Oh, maybe some strength. Yeah, so we finished and we're gonna call him a D. Okay, so I've made four characters, which is standard for a party. And uh, Killer Boss Devon, what is this? Let's just add, remove, inspect. Let's add A, B, C, and D. Okay, and uh, we can leave. So gone to the tavern, picked up my four characters. Adventurers in, let's see what's it there. Who will stay? Nobody. Uh, Temple of Cards, what is that? Nothing. Uh, Old Axe Trading Post. Who will enter? Well let's 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 send Charles in first. And he has 200 gold points, so let's buy something. Uh, let's go for a long sword. Oh. Purchase a long sword. Just what you needed. And then forward this more items. I'll do purchase some leather armor. And that should be it for now. So I'm gonna leave. And I'm going to leave again. So now we're going to send Mr. Beck. He's going to buy a long sword. One. Oh, purchase one. And then forward. Purchase five. Yeah, get him Get him a little bit of armor. And leave. Leave. And then so each one <clears throat> they have to do it on their own. It's just quite good the way they, they set this up in uh, MS-DOS. So, yeah, he's going to purchase it. Oh, no. Hmm. Staff dagger. Uh, no. Let's let's see what other things there are. Robes, small shield, leather armor. Uh, Dios, Latimorphus, breastplate, longsword. Ah, so we're back at the start. So it's definitely uh, purchase some robes, which is four, because this guy is actually a mage. Uh, so you can get a, a dagger. All of the ten mills useless. All of that's useless. Long swords useless. Uh, let's get a staff. Purchase five staff. Okay. So I'll leave. Yeah, this this takes a little while. Sorry, 
Um, I'm going to leave this one. And then number four, Bobby the Thief. I wonder. Okay, so bye. So he can only, well, we'll purchase a short sword. You know, he's got to have some sort of armor. And then forward shields, robes, leather armor. Well, give him purchase a small shield and purchase some leather armor. Okay. So this is, of course, more things, but uh, yeah, useless for this type of guy. So we're gonna leave. I'll leave again. I leave. So we're gonna go to the edge of town. I can go training, maze, castle, utilities, and leave game. So let's let's do utilities. Change name, move characters, restart an out party. That's pretty much it. So nothing interesting there. Edge of town again. Let <coughs> us go to the maze. Oh dear. So, none of my characters are here. So let's go back to the castle. Let's go back to the tavern. I'm gonna add and find our guys that wandered away. Leave, leave, edge of town. And we shall go to the maze. So, um, let us uh, equip. So, yeah, we're gonna equip the longsword, leather armor. So it's stepping through the characters, and it's just. So the armor class has come down quite a bit. Fleets of status are still pretty much low. So we're happy with this. We're gonna leave that. Stairs up? No. So this is a picture drawing of what we're seeing. So this walls that way and that way. I'm just tapping on the cursor keys here, so I'm going to move forward. And it flashes a little forward key for you, so. Yeah, turn left. So when I'm going through a maze, I always um, follow the left hand wall. It's a bit simplistic, but uh, it works for me. And end up not missing anything in the whole way, so I'll keep on walking. Oh, stairs down. No. Let's just explore this maze first. So this, I'll, I'll walk a little bit faster now. Graphics. I mean, this is early 1980s. This reminds me a little bit of that. Uh, ooh, an encounter. So let's do surprised the monsters. There are two slimes, so Charles can fight. Barry, take back, use item, run. Okay, so Barry's gonna fight. I was just press enter. Beck's gonna fight. Balada, use item, take back. Hmm, Balada's my mage. And use item, I have nothing. Ah, he's gonna fight too. Bobby's option. Uh, use item run, parry, okay, parry, whatever that is. Press enter the fight, let's fight. Charles tried to stab a slime, hits. Ooh, we get 27 experience points and we have a chest. We can call for, leave alone. What is call for? Never mind, let's, let's open the thing. Ooh, we'll open. Charles. Each survivor gets 20 gold points. So, all of my hits are still good. Um, inspection, searching, found one. LJ were in her gate, why not? Give to who? Number one. Ah, one. This is one of my older characters. I call them one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, overload one character. 
get moved to okay, so we're gonna leave. But let's carry on walking. Uh, it's always left hand. So I suppose you could actually draw this maze. I don't know if that would help. No, I'm disoriented. Oh, okay. The monster surprised you. Two bushwhackers and five weird humanoids, I think. Ah, okay. Alright. No, oh, man. Right. Um,. I reckon we should run. Mm. Sure. Okay, so that, that didn't go well. Okay. <laughs> I'll run. Man. This, this is not going well for my little party. So, <clears throat> back to the game. The game plays really well. And, uh, it's, it's classic dungeon crawler game. In fact, it's the original dungeon crawling game. It works pretty well. Uh, of course, my little party is dead now, which is a, a bit of a shame. Um, if you like the dungeon crawling type games, you can actually get this one. You can play this one, keep your characters, move them on to the next game, play the first five wizardry scenarios. It's sort of leveling up your guys the whole way. So that sounds like fun. It sounds like uh, you could spend quite a bit of time on there. In any case, um, that's going to be too long for, for a video from, from me. Um, but I do thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.